A group of moms in Montgomery County came together tonight to educate the community about drug overdoses. A problem Precinct 1 Judge Wayne Mack says is rising with a more than 300% increase in fentanyl overdoses since 2020. It's an issue Governor Abbott is making a pillar of his reelection campaign. Anayeli Ruiz has more. Well, that's right, Governor Abbott making an appearance at today's event. He recognizes that drug overdoses are a problem and he's vowed to take action. It was a heavy emotional day for many families. What we're here today is, is more than just wearing a purple shirt. It's more than just handing out the things that have been handed out. We're here today to remember. A chance not just to remember the faces of their loved ones that have died due to drugs. He did overdose. But Sherry Barton and four other moms who lost their sons wanted to bring awareness and help educate others on the issues that exist. He became involved in heroin and meth and he became addicted and he just wasn't able to get past it. He lost his, son, his life to it. Her 29 year old son Chance Barton died back in February of 2019. Because I don't want other people to go through this. It scares me and it scares me for my children and my grandchildren. Because of that, these mothers brought in experts, local firefighters, doctors to explain how the drugs work and even teach people. That's it. How to administer Narcan nose spray to save someone's life. And there's one drug in particular they say has become an increasing problem First, in many areas. Let's call fentanyl poisoning what it is. It's murder. And for this family, fentanyl did just that. It was literally one pill can kill. They lost 17-year-old Ryan Garcia. It was a Percocet that was laced with fentanyl. And his brother, stepbrother, found him. And it was too late for Narcan. So he passed. Ryan's family is from Austin. They tell me they had to be here not just to share his story. He was the jokester of the family. He lit up a room. But bringing awareness to the problem is helping their grieving process. Now they are learning and they're getting they're getting they're able to tell their friends and um, just pass the word around and breaking down the stigma was a big part of today's event. Governor Abbott also said he would pass a law that would charge drug dealers with murder if their product kills someone. Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.